What's up guys? Today I've got a little uh, how-to. We're installing a really cool new Wrangler ceiling net on the front here. It's a new product that he just came out with. Uh, so I'm just going to go through a quick rundown. I already started the job just because I haven't put one of these be in before and there's kind of two sides to the truck so you can do one side and then you can basically do the exact same thing on the other. Uh, pretty simple to, to put it in. You'll basically need um, a screwdriver well, or a, or a drill, um, a drill bit, 5.30 seconds. You'll probably need 10 millimeter, a 14 millimeter socket, um, pocket screwdriver. This is a really handy tool to use. It's a, uh, it's just a panel popper kind of a tool. Um, so that's kind of helpful in this situation. It comes with two of each one of these. They're two, they're basically um, hangers that it will go on and uh, yeah, so that's about that's about all you'll need. It's a pretty simple install. There is some panels you got to pop off and whatnot, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. So uh, come over here and we'll uh, check it out. So get this real quick. Basically, what you're going to need to do is come in the back here. Uh, what you're going to need to do back here is as you can see I've already kind of popped all these out this is a cover for um, basically your uh, rear tail light uh, upper tail end light <laughs> whatever you want to call it and this is to hold the uh, to hold the roof, uh, roof liner in so you're gonna use that panel puller to kind of pull those off this one be real careful just kind of go back and forth popping it out um, as you can see I kind of broke the nub off that one. You can snag them from, uh, from Nissan pretty cheap, but as you can see, it is a, let me, let's see here. Let me get a little better view of it. It's a little, just a little clip with some, some teeth on it. So you just kind of want to back it out to get that out. And let's see if I can focus in on there. Let me get my light so that you guys can see up in there. I don't know if you can kind of see that. You can kind of see, let's see, come on, focus. It's not focusing. Oh, well, there's a little, there's a little scroof in there. And let's see, come on. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's just a little 10 millimeter up there, and that's what you're gonna do to get that out. You're gonna you're gonna attach one of those little connection points. I'll show you outside. Over here, I already started um, this side. As you can see, I kind of pulled all the the clips out. Um, I'll pull this off so you can kind of see what it looks like underneath. So this has been attached up here, right above this upper uh, B pillar mounting hole. You'll uh, drill, drill two 5.30 seconds holes and you're gonna need to use the two little screws supplied. And you'll just, those are kind of self tappers. So you just drill those holes and then those will tap in. And it's right above this clip. And then when this A pillar goes on, this just sits up like that. And that's gonna be your connection point for the front area of the net. Um, also to get, to all the things to get the B pillar off. Let me go over to the other side. So what you're going to do to get the B pillar off is you're going to pull this. You basically just pry that off. These two um, pry off, and the, there's 10 millimeters behind each three of these. Also, this pops out. Let me show you a what that looks like when it's popped out. It's basically this. You're just going to pry it on on each side and on the bottom and the oh. Uh, come on, butterfingers. Basically, that just comes comes out. You just kind of start prying it out, and it'll it'll pry out. So you pry that out, and then you're gonna pull. Once you pry that out, I'll go back to the other side. You're gonna see this, and that's the the seat belt. You're gonna take that. That's a 14 millimeter. You'll just unscrew that, and that'll drop down, as you can see from there. Once that's out. You can start prying this out. There's a little clip down here at the bottom and you'll just pull up and out like that. And this whole piece comes off. Then you can work in here drilling out those little holes. 
So now that you see that, you give me a second and I'll give you kind of the lowdown on how to do the back part. All right guys, so this one that I was trying to focus on, I didn't really get it. There's just a little 10 millimeter um, nut in there with a, with a um, stud basically that you screw the nut onto. Up inside there is this little piece right here. Um, you'll pull that nut off, you'll get this, and, and once you get those two little panels off, this, this kind of moves right here, and you'll be able to kind of fish your fingers in be from behind and whatnot to work up in there. So you'll get that nut off, slide this thing in there and on, on the stud, and then you'll put that little nut on, and that'll be your rear anchor point. There's two small anchor points back here that, uh, that you'll anchor these, these two pieces to so that, uh, so that you can hang your, um, your net from. So you have an anchor here, you'll have an anchor here, and then these are gonna be your other anchors right here. So it'll, it'll hook to your, your handles. So I'm gonna get it, uh, I already have this one done, I'm gonna get that one done and the other side pulled off and we'll get this, get this going and then I'll show you how to hook up the net and we'll see what it looks like in the, when it's done. All right, cool. What's up guys? So this is probably a little bit more tricky up here because you kind of got to get up in there, get it in. I'm actually using a little uh, hook tool. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of kind of handy to get it up and in there, and then loop it around to get it out. Close. Make sure I got the right side. All right. So that goes in there. Then we hook that up. Oh, I got I got it twisted. So I got that one looped up. You can see it's nice and tight. Just kind of pops out there. And these these holes that you pop the covers off aren't nearly as uh, exposed once this goes in. And you can kind of see that it, the hole is kind of covered up by this thing once it's once it's in there. So it's not like a big old hole with a little silver thing around it. So. I'm gonna hook the rest of these up. I'll hook this side up, and then I'll show you the other, the other two. So I got the other one done, and I know you're all sad. I'm covering up all my uh, patches, but I'll probably move some so they're not all stuck underneath, underneath here. So as you can kind of see, I've hooked this one up here. This one goes to the grab handle. This front one is right up to this V pillar mount right here that we're doing. So you can see that front one's going up here. Mount that one up real quick and get that one up. Then the other side. So, once you kind of get all these things set up, it's pretty simple to kind of open this up and fish these through. And then you kind of just even it up as you go. Finally, the front one, as you can see, this thing is now basically evened up. Boom. So you can see, and actually I'm, I'm 6'2", and right here I'm sitting in the back seat and it's not hitting my head. So there's, and there's extra space. I don't know if you can see, there's extra space up in here just the way, because of my sunroof. I have a sunroof. I'm sure if you didn't have a sunroof, it'd be a lot better. But um, yeah, it's 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 really cool. It's, you know, you can s store a jacket up there or stuff that you kind of grab um, often, you know, instead of something that's behind the seat. And if you got stuff in the, sun, in, in the seat, you don't want to boost seats. Believe me, I've, I've been out there and I don't want to, I never drop my seats forward to try and get stuff. It's just a pain. So having this, you know, you can put some, some tissues up there for the kids in the back. Whatever you want, 
and it's it's a really cool product. It's pretty cool. Um, Eddie over at Wrangler. This is super heavy duty stitching, um, made in America stuff. It's super cool. So um, check out all of Wrangler stuff. Niztech.com sells them. You can go to Wrangler's site as well. And uh, there's a bunch of different options. You can get mesh netting in between here, or the mesh netting style. You can get um, all different colors. You can get black, green, all different cool stuff. So check it out. That's the Wrangler ceiling net for my Frontier. I again have the four door. And as you can see back there, uh, saying you can't really notice those uh, those holes once it's all actually mounted up. Let's see if I can get a good floor view of it. And there you go. Only problem is you can't see all your cool guy patches. And I can't wait to use right, it guys. this weekend at the Rogue Overland Death Valley Summer Expedition. See you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Hey guys, before I finish out this video, I want to give you a little uh, Danny's tip of the day. So a lot of times I pull off these for when you're doing trim and stuff like this. Um, you'll pull these off a lot, especially if you're doing like door trim or you can even pull them off when you're cleaning down, doing like a deep clean on some of your sills and stuff like that. But what happens is, and, and I've seen this in a couple cars now, I've worked on a bunch, but what happens is, I don't know if you can see here, this part, what will happen is it'll get stretched open like that. Nobody likes it when it's too open like that. So what you're gonna do is you can you can get, there's a couple ways of kind of fixing that up. Cause what'll happen is that'll keep coming undone, it'll fall down or whatever. And it's something in, and inside there's just, it's just um, metal basically thin metal so basically you can squeeze this down all the way up it's hard to do with one hand but squeeze it together and it'll just grab much better also sometimes you'll put this on and you're like wow it doesn't fit make sure to put this corner up in first and get that corner up in first so that um, and then you can kind of pull up a little bit make sure this corner is up in first and that'll help kind of line everything up you can work your way down and make sure there's enough room for that to move in so that's a little tip of the day something that i've learned after doing many 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 molding jobs and whatnot so thanks guys next time